Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is April and I make sewing and DIY fashion videos here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be a transformation where I turn a graduation gown into a dress. But before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to Karina, who's a fan of my videos. I met her a couple weeks ago at my brother's going away party and she surprised me with this awesome painting right here that is gonna go up on the wall behind me. Karina, as a thank you, I'm going to be sending you Sophie. Sophie is a sewing machine plushie that my Instagram followers helped me design. And it actually just launched today, so the rest of you can have one too. Isn't it so cute? I just love the colors of it, the shape, which was actually an accident by the way. And it has a spool of thread on top with a happy face on it. Like I was saying, Sophie is up for pre-order right now. So if you want one for yourself, make sure to click the link in my description box and get one because it is going to be limited edition. So once it's gone, it's gone. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. Most graduation gowns are only worn once or twice and then they end up sitting in the closet for years or are donated so I thought it would be really cool to give it a second life and turn it into a little black dress. There's a lot of fabric to work with here so the possibilities are endless but I decided to go with a drop waisted dress with a plunging neckline. As usual the first thing I did was take apart the entire gown. The sleeves right here are big enough to create the top of the skirt, so I pinned it on and marked the front skirt down to the hips. That's my sister in the back. She's been in my studio learning how to make Mickey Mouse bucket hats to wear to Disneyland. It's basically just a bucket hat with Mickey Mouse ears added on top. And after three samples, she actually improved and made a really nice looking one. If my sister with zero sewing experience can do it, so can you. I'm now draping the backside of the skirt here with the other sleeve piece and then I can lay it on the table, add my seam allowance, and cut the two skirt pieces out. Since I didn't create a sample first, I like to add additional seam allowance at the center back or side seams just to be safe. After cutting the skirt pieces out, there was enough material left from the sleeves to use for the bodice. I'm making a plunging sweetheart bodice, so it'll need a tool panel in between to hold the bodice together. Once all the bodice pieces are marked, I added seam allowance around all the sides and again, added a bigger seam allowance at the center back to allow room for adjustments. Here's all my bodice pieces. I am using additional fabric outside of the graduation gown for the lining. Now I can sew all the bodice pieces together. Because the front neckline is plunging, we'll need some tool in between to hold the front bodice together, which was tricky to figure out, but it's actually not too bad. I first cut a small piece of nude color tool that will fit the opening, and then marked my seam allowance on the bottom so I know how big to make the tool insert. Lay the tool on top and mark outside of that seam allowance on the bodice all the way down to the bottom. Be sure to mark on your bodice where the top of the tool is supposed to be so that both sides are sewn evenly. And now to sew it on, all you have to do is sew the tool right sides together to each side of the bodice.
It should look like this when you're finished and now to attach the lining what you have to do is fold the bodice in half so you can sew the lining right sides together with the bodice. You're only sewing the lining to one side of the bodice not both. It's hard to tell but once you do it you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm also only sewing the center front together for now and will close up the rest once my straps are created. This is what one side of the bodice looks like now that the lining is attached. Now we can repeat the same thing, fold it in half and sew the lining right sides together to the other side of the bodice. To finish the bodice, I created straps from the gown, measured them to fit me, and then inserted them into the bodice. Then I can finish sewing the lining to the bodice along the top. Moving on to the skirt, I'm going to first sew the side seams closed. Then sew both skirt layers right sides together to the bodice, sandwiching the bodice in the middle. The material of the graduation gown frays a lot, so I made sure to serge all the edges along the way. To create the drop waisted skirt, I still had the rest of the gown to work with so I could either make a circle skirt or a gathered skirt but I decided on a gathered skirt. I folded and cut the gown in half so I can attach the two pieces so it's long enough to gather. Then I gathered the skirt and sewed it to the dress. For the lining skirt, I did the same thing and gathered it and sewed it to the dress. To add some more volume to the skirt, I gathered some stiff tulle and sewed two layers of it onto the lining skirt. Now I can finally close up the center back and add in a new black zipper because the original is really bulky and it detaches at the bottom so I'm going to save it for a different project. I also wanted to try using magic tape instead of pins to hold down my zipper and it wasn't bad. Definitely easier to adjust your zipper or check if it's lined up compared to sewing pins. Lastly, I hem the bottom of the skirt and I'm finished! Here is the final transformation. Time takes a toll. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Don't get time for games. Now what you wanna do?